Marker actually further south down the Keys from Isla Marata. We came all the way to mile marker 74. This is the new end of the line for residents who live between that point and Key West. 74 miles of Keys. It's a lot of homes, a lot of Keys, a lot of residents. Many of them over here all lined up in their cars. They've been sitting here waiting for days trying to get down further. Yesterday they had to wait in Florida City. They waited there for days. Now, obviously, the sheriff's department doesn't want a big group of dozens and dozens of cars here. They're trying to get them out. They don't want to leave. They just want to get beyond the roadblock to see their house and see what on earth is left. But according to the sheriff, whom I just interviewed, there is very, very little. We have total devastation from the, about the 70 mile marker to the probably south about the 15 mile marker. It looks like a, a nuclear bomb went off. We cannot let people come in until it's safe. You'll see um, trailers uh, flipped over. You'll see uh, boats that were on the side of the road we pushed off with uh, bulldozers. You'll see boats sunk everywhere. You'll see uh, front of buildings not even there. And thanks to our Fox affiliate WSBN Fox 7 in Miami, the first camera on to Cudjo Key last yesterday afternoon. You can see the sheriff is very, very accurate. It was category four hurricane with 130 mile an hour winds when it made landfall there at Cudjo Key. Those winds lasted 12 to 15 hours, and if anything didn't fall down in the first three, finally that, the pressure, the strength of the winds just finally became too much. Now, before sunrise, right here at mile marker 74, you could see people, several cars were here, camped out in the dark. They had driven out here uh, around midnight, saying they saw multiple convoys of gas trucks, FEMA trucks, and National Guard trucks heading in, but of course, no residents yet. For Shelby Bentley, he's just living out of his car, wondering when he can get back home with his wife, who is five months pregnant. She's been cooped up in that car. She can't recline in it. And um, yeah, we we're willing to get arrested. The hands down, no doubt. I'm begging for it, just so she can have a place to lay down. Now, there remains a dust to dawn curfew in the Keys, and the sheriff tells me that's because they have already had many instances of looting in the central and lower Keys. People looting by riding in on ATVs, by boat. They made several arrests, and so three dead total from this hurricane so far in the Florida Keys, according to the sheriff. He expects once it's all said and done, without a doubt, there will be more bodies. But he says the first other city beyond this point that will likely be able to be reopened to people would be Key West. He said Key West was to the west of the center of the storm and pretty structurally sound as far as power goes, power lines. That should soon be restored. And, but everything's going to be days and days and days away, according to the sheriff. Huge Phil. challenge. Just getting started. Thank you, Phil Keating. Good to have you there again today. Thank you, yeah. Phil.